Hello and welcome to 100 Yards of Football Sports Talk Radio. I'm your producer this morning, Logan Landers, and we got a very special episode coming up. We're going to be talking about Tony Fields the second. He's a linebacker out of West Virginia. And joining me to break down this young NFL draft prospect, he's a man that needs no introduction, but we're going to give it to him anyways. The football encyclopedia, you might have heard of him as Mr. Football. We like to call him our draft expert, insider, all those synonyms, y'all know him, you love him. It's Vincent Turner. How are you doing this morning, Vince? Thank you very much, Mr. Landers. I see you ready to go because <laughs> we got some energy. Yes, sir. It's yes, thank sir. You, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey. Thank you, thank you. Hey, well, we're filming early, like always, 8 a.m. in the morning. It's live. It's Monday. We do it on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Twitch. Be sure if you enjoy this episode today, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We have a whole lot of great comments. We have a lot of great people who watch the show. We appreciate all the love and support. And we got a really good episode today. Also, be sure to go check out our podcast. We upload daily episode so everything you're going to be hearing this week here on the show it's going to be up live and you're going to be able to hear it whether you're in your car whether you're at work or really if you're just hanging out at the house you will listen to us you can always do that guys just be sure to type in 100 yards of football you'll see all of our old game previews draft profiles legends interviews we got a whole lot of content over there so go check us out and leave us a review as well so events let's get on right into it tell me what you like about tony fields the second the young man coming out of west virginia Hey, I like this young man. Started his career off in Arizona, transferred to West Virginia as a grad transfer. And what I like about him, production. He's a guy that likes to be around the ball. Now I'm going to give you my grade report, which I give every week. When you look at the athletic ability, A+. Plus. You're looking at the instincts, A+, plus for a side linebacker. Physical, physical player, A+. Plus. Versatile, A+. Plus. This is a young man, 6'1", about 220, probably going to put on about 15, 20 pounds, going to play in the league at about 6'1", 240. But everything I like about him, aggressiveness. Then look at his career. You know I'm a big on production. His time at Arizona, three seasons, then transferring to West Virginia, 375 tackles, 21 tackles for loss, three interceptions, six pass defense, and most of all, one forced fumble. But his one year at West Virginia, had 88 tackles. And what I like about that, when you look at his film, he's all over the field. Then go back to his game film in 2020 against Kansas State. Very good football team. West Virginia won that football game 37-20, to 20, but he had 15 tackles. Now I'm going to take you down the road. History. He's got a really carrying name of great defensive players that's played at West Virginia. Daryl Talley, the great Sam Huff, Aaron Beasley, they had a great time in the league. John Browning. Gary Steels, Barrett Green, and the guy that's locally from here, Pac-Man Jones. So he already had a lot to stand up to coming out of West Virginia. Then when you look at what his game is like, transferring to the next level, and I always go look at inside linebackers that has productions. He reminds me of a guy that played at Arizona where Mr. Fields the second play for two ye- for three years, Teddy Bruschi who's a real serious linebacker with the New England Patriots. Then Zach Thomas out of Texas Tech that played with the Miami Dolphins. Then Antonio Pierce, who came out of Arizona, won a Super Bowl ring with the New York Giants. Then the great Woodrow Lowe. He reminds me of Woodrow, Mr. Lowe, when he was at Alabama back in the 1970s, then went on to the San Diego Chargers. Then the late great David Little, who played with the Florida Gators in the 80s, was all SEC for two seasons. And then finally, with his production and his sideline, sideline ability, he I'm not going to say it, but I'm going to call him a poor man's Ray Lewis. This is a football player here, son. Tony Fields the second. Whoever drafts him, they're going to get a guy that's very productive and who can go sideline to sideline. Mm. Hey, that's a lot of that's a lot of hype around the young man. Vance calling him a poor man's Ray Lewis. We know what Ray did in the league, man. One of the most feared linebackers of all time. Especially one of the most intimidating, I would say, as many times he'd lay people out each and every week. But man, yeah, I, I can definitely see Tony Fields having that type of tenacity on the gridiron each and every Sunday. And like you said, whatever team drafts this guy is going to get a heck of a ball player. And like I always do, I bring my three teams each and every week who I think these young draft prospects are going to head to. So without further ado, my first pick, who I think Tony Fields the second will be drafted to on draft night, we're keeping it hometown. 
the Atlanta Falcons. Look, the Falcons got a new regime coming in, man. They got a lot of changes coming on. You know, they got a new GM. They got a new head coach. They're going to reshake. They're going to make sure this program is back to where it was back when they were in the Super Bowl a couple of seasons ago, and they got to get young. And I think that Tony Fields, with his tenacity and his speed and his effort mostly, man, because we've seen over the past couple of seasons just the effort just not there from some of the defenders on the defensive side of the ball for the Falcons. Tony Fields, he's going to be a culture change in that locker room, I think, if they draft him. Second, my team, is I got the Indianapolis Colts. Look, man, the Colts, they got a lot of good weapons. They really do. They're right there, I think. They got Carson Wentz taking over at the helm at the new QB this coming season. And they got a, they can improve on their defense a little bit. They get Tony Fields in there, who's going to be a spark plug, I think. There you go, man. That might get you a good playoff run in there. And finally, my third team, a team that was known for its defense back in the day, Vince. You're going to know these guys very well. The Purple People Leaders. The third team I got him going to is the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings, look, they got a, they, they need a few pieces to contend, I believe. They got Dalvin Cook, who's one of the best running backs in the league. But they do need a little bit of help on the defensive side of the ball if they do want to contend for another playoff spot to get a deep playoff run. And what better way than Tony Fields coming out of West Virginia? I think he'd be a great fit there as well. But if I had one team I think that he would be a great fit with, that's, I'm going to be a little selfish here, man. I think he'd be great with the Atlanta Falcons. If he stayed with us here in the Atlanta metro area, I think he'd really help out this Falcons club and get that defense back on track. I think he'd be a tremendous fit. So give me your final words on Tony Fields and how he's going to do, man, how you think he's going to fare when his name gets called on draft. Now give me your final words. My final words on Mr. Fields, I like your analysis, him going to the Atlanta Falcons. I think he'll be the type of player that the Falcons new regime will fall in love with. The guy was very high-level productive in West Virginia's only season. And my final words on Tony Fields is very simple. It's like the great musician out of Dayton, Ohio, Stephen Arrington. He had a song that says, Dancing in the Keys of Life. Tony Fields is going to be dancing in the keys of life. Mm the next level in the 2021 NFL draft and hopefully it's with our hometown Atlanta Falcons as you said. Hey we'll have to see Vance we'll see where his name his name gets called but hopefully he's gonna be wearing some black and red in the near future I'm looking forward to it. Well hey if you guys have enjoyed this video today thank you for, so much for tuning in. Also be sure to like comment and share this video with all of your friends all your family and all your draft groups as well. Let them know what we're doing over here at 100 Yards of Football. Also, be sure to go check out our podcast that we upload almost daily episodes to. Just type in 100 Yards of Football, and you'll see our logo right there on the 50-yard line where you can view all of our previous episodes. You can look at all of our draft profiles, all of our old game previews, our amazing legends interviews that Bobby Butler does almost every single week. Man, we got a lot of amazing content over there on Spotify, but also we're on Apple Podcast as well. So go, be sure to go check us out over there. Leave us a nice comment. Leave us a good review. Let us know that... You know, you enjoy our podcast because it's been a pleasure, man, putting over there with Believe, and they've been helping us out a lot. Also, go check out our Instagram as well. We upload clips of each and every episode. We got a lot of good clips over there, and we're almost getting close to the 100 subscriber plateau on Instagram, so be sure to go get us over there and get us over that 100 mark. So, hey, for my amazing, amazing draft insider, Vincent Turner, thank you so much for coming on as always, as always and lending us your draft knowledge as the only man you can't ask, Mr. Football. I've been your producer this morning, Logan Landis. Be sure to stay tuned right here on 100 Yards of Football to see more great football content. 